Don't fight the closed doors, the disappointments, the people that walk away. You don't know what God is up to. Sometimes he has to move you away from what you're comfortable with. You can't see it, but he knows something is limiting you. You may go through these seasons of testing, seasons of proving. It's easy to get discouraged, slack off, but you need to keep being your best. Nothing is changing. That's okay. Keep doing the right thing. I'm telling you, it ain't nothing as dangerous as somebody who's making a comeback. You haven't had a fight till you get in the ring with somebody who's making a comeback. You haven't been through hell till you run up and punch somebody who ain't got nothing to do. Slap somebody and say, nowhere to go but up. Already lost everything. Already been through trouble. Already been embarrassed. Already been humiliated. Already been talked about. Already been laughed at. Already been betrayed. Already had my feelings hurt. Tell somebody, say, nowhere to go but up. You can start to make a new stretch today. You can sign up for some new classes today. You can start engaging in constructive thinking today. You can make some life-changing decisions today. See, you don't ever have to be the same again, only by choice. And while you wait for prices to come down, I would go to work immediately and quickly on the refinement of your own thinking and the refinement of your own disciplines and watch how quickly the equity of that starts to grow. Now, this is called dealing in straight talk. Let's go do it. What's the first thing they say when you get on an airplane before they take off? Fasten your seatbelt. Why? Because you will experience some turbulence before you reach a comfortable altitude. The only way to get unstuck is that you need something stronger, something greater holding the thing that is stuck. Because there's some people today that you're single and you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you're at a halt. You don't feel like you can progress in life. You don't have to be popular to be powerful. I ended up going to dinner with, becoming friends with, eating with, fellowshipping with people who started out hating. I had the capacity to withstand their hatred, and the capacity to embrace her friendship. I understood that time defines you. Some people will understand you later. I didn't have the help I needed. I didn't have the money to do what I was doing. I didn't know anybody. But I knew one thing. I'm not in this thing by myself. It's not about perfection, it's about progression. But some of you right now, you've got it in your mind. The only way I can progress is if I get a partner. Oh, but friend, you need something bigger than a partner to pull you out of this season where you feel like you're stuck. Guess what you need? You don't need a partner, you need a God-given purpose. You need something stronger to pull you from the place where you feel like you're stuck. Life situations is to use the illustration of the seasons. Number one, you cannot change the seasons until you get your own planet. All of this has been set in motion. But here's the next piece of information. You can change yourself. You can't change the seasons, but you can change yourself. Life and business is like the changing seasons. Frank Sinatra saying, life is like the seasons. First, learn how to survive the winter. Speaking of life in its simplest aspect, the first key to learn in your life on the spinning planet is to learn how to survive. Now there's all kinds of winters, right? The winter of the calendar, right? The winter of the actual season. But then there's financial winters and social winters, personal winters. But we understand those because we've all been through. Now here's the key on the winters. Some are long and some are short. Some are easy and some are tough. But they always come right after harvest, right after fall, autumn. So we cannot rearrange the coming of the winters. But here's what we could do. Get stronger, wiser, and better so that we can survive better. And our life will be less eroded by learning to handle the next winter. The next winter of a divorce, the next winter of an illness, the next winter of a death in the family, the next winter of a loss financially the next winter of a, 
a crisis of whatever kind, to be better equipped. So here's the key to learn the season so that you can approach it all in a very intelligent way. So you must think negative when it's possible. You must think winter when it's summer. Here's some of the best advice. It comes from classic tradition. A great story says, don't build your house on the sand in the summer. And I think we live in a world that doesn't know the difference between the public moments and the private moments. I think we're increasingly becoming, and this is just my old man rant, so please let me do it right now, because like I said, I'm a parent now, and I'm so scared for my kids who are growing up in a world where now they're growing up publicly. Everybody has their own broadcast journalism degree called Twitter. Everybody has a license to express their own opinion. And the phrase that got me is what his brother said. They want to convince him. They say, you got to get out of Galilee. This is too remote. This is not the right place for you to become a public figure. This is what I found out being a professional alone person. It's okay to be alone. I get over a thousand messages every single day. And a lot of people write to me saying, Ralph, I just can't seem to find anybody I can get on with. And I don't like it. It's okay to be alone. The reason why a lot of people experience a lot of loneliness is because they are in resistance to being alone. Because being alone is frightening for the majority of the human race. You got to be with yourself. You got to go within. A lot of stuff is going to come out. That's why a lot of us, we want to always be with friends. But if you continue just to follow the crowd, you will only go as far as the crowd. When you're at the top, when you're an owner or you're the leader, there's times where you have to do things by yourself. There's no doubt about that. And if you have a problem with that, you're going to have a problem being in a leadership position. Because there's things that you have to do as a leader. You have to lead from the front. You have to work harder. You have to do extra. And if you're not, that's not good. And if you're, if you're working harder, there's going to be times when you're not with anyone else. And you have to be okay with that. That's what that expression means, it's lonely at the top. Meaning like, you're at the top because you're willing to behave or be a certain way that other people either can't oh, yeah, or yeah, won't, yeah. right? From that perspective, you're definitely lonely at the top. Yeah. There's no one that's going to sit there and do what I'm willing to do to be there. Like, where are you at? I don't know. Haven't seen you. If you want any value at all, come harvest. You got to press. You got to be bold. The high life is not for the timid in the shop. Some people mistake timidity for humility. Humility is a virtue. Timidity is a disease. Humility is almost godlike word. A sense of awe, a sense of wonder, a sense of understanding the distance in worth, an awareness of the human soul, the spirit, something unique about the human drama versus the rest of life. A grasp of the distance between us and the stars, and yet having the feeling that we're part of the stars. It's okay to dream, but we must not just become a dreamer. Be proud, but not arrogant. It takes pride to win the day. It takes pride in company, opportunity. It takes pride in group, organization. It takes pride in cause and accomplishment. But the key is to be proud without being arrogant. If you want the audacity to be successful, don't you understand the crap that comes along with that? Like, I wanted the audacity to be in shape. It's come with a lot of crap. It's been a lot of work. You deal with it because it's a very small price to pay for all the phenomenal stuff that you headline read and you aspire to and you dream for. The problem is most of you don't want to eat that shit to get there. Analyze where you are, going to your store. What's in here? What's old? What's decaying? What stinks? Okay, what's that over there? Negative attitude, gotta get rid of that one. Negative people, we can't hang anymore, you got to go. Can't do this anymore. Fear, come out of there. What's over there in the corner? Procrastination, what's over there? Okay, bad attitude, all that stuff, get out of there. Throw it out, it's got to go. And 
what do I need? What do I need to get me from where I am to where I need to go? What do I need? Okay, I need more people who dream like me, who think like me, who can stretch and grow like me. I gotta surround myself with more people like that. All right, good. I, I need more confidence here. I need to develop more belief in my ideas and in my in my plans. I've got to do that. What else do I need to get to where I need to get to? To get to survive, to live. What do I, what do I need? Okay, I'm going to a new place. I need new skills. So this is what it is, inventory. Throw out what you don't need, add what you need. You must not be faked out when it's nice. You must think storm in the summer and not get faked out. And if you think storm, now you'll look for a rock on which to build your house. Now you're gonna be safe. So you can't think nice when it's nice. You gotta think storm when it's nice. The seasons are gonna come and change. And if you're not educated to that degree, now you suffer a great loss. Now here's the next philosophy. The time to think positive is when it's negative. Why? Because the negative won't last long. How long is the winter? Isn't that long? Just hang on. It's not going to take that long. How long is the night? It's only a few hours. There's never been a double night. Couldn't you make it a, a few more hours? And the story says, yes, the, the, the night just can't last. For Sometimes it seems like it's going to last forever. And when you have insomnia, right, it seems like the night will never pass. But I'm telling you, sure enough, it will pass. So learn to think day when it's night. And then you must learn to think night when it's day. So you had to get it going, get it in before the night came. So this is a good idea now. Learn to think negative when it's positive. Learn to think storm when there is no storm. Learn to think winter in the summer. But then we must learn to think summer in the winter. We can make it through a few more hours, right? A few more days, it won't be that long, hang in here. The spring will surely come. So the winters of life, learn to express those to other people, help them understand that as well as to try to understand it yourself. Now here's the next season, the spring. Spring is called opportunity, not a guarantee. It's guaranteed the spring will come, but it's not a guarantee of a harvest. Here's the key, you must do something with the spring. Take advantage of the spring. Read every book you can get your hands on, what to do with the springs of your life. Take advantage of the day, because the day follows the night. It's an opportunity now to turn things around. It's an opportunity to have a better one than, than the last one. It's an opportunity for a new beginning, a new spring, a new day, a new beginning. So spring is the, is the chance to take advantage of a, another opportunity. Now, here's what you must do in the spring. It's a very short season usually, you must hurry. You wouldn't ask a farmer to go bowling in the spring. He hasn't got time, why? The season is too short. Planting season is too short. You've got to get it done fairly quickly. Now we call spring a window of opportunity. If you have a chance to talk to someone, the window's open. It may not stay open very long, so take advantage. Don't hesitate, meet a new friend. Talk to somebody while the window's open. Now here's the season for everybody to understand because it is so, applicable to our life, and that's the season of summer. Two things we must do in the summer, nourish our values and protect. Nourish like a mother, protect like a father. The twin challenge is in the summertime. Help to illustrate life, that we are confronted with both good and evil. Here's one of the, the better realistic illustrations, and that's health and illness at odds in your body. Illness trying its best to drive health into a small corner and occupy the territory. And health trying what? To push illness into a small corner. There's this contest going on. Who's going to occupy the territory? If one stays strong, the other's diminished. If the other gains in power, then the other is diminished. So what you must learn to do is cooperate with the positive side of everything in your body and your life. Sometimes we sabotage our own best interest because if we get weak I'm telling you it moves in moves in moves in takes the territory so we're in the middle of this contest and here's what it's called opposites in conflict good evil liberty tyranny right health illness winning and losing right there's a, there's the struggle going on but here's the key it's the only way it seems it's the only way to create a human adventure it doesn't seem to be any other way currently it seems like to create an adventure, 
To create a unique human scenario, we need opposites in conflict. And it's the only way to have a civilized society. And we've got to fight these skirmishes. We've been fighting them forever. We've got to fight them forever. Whether they're inside your own body or whether they're in politics, no matter where they are, we must play this game. We must fight this game. But here's what it creates, a great adventure. Let me give you the ultimate now. Could you win if you couldn't lose? And the answer is no, it doesn't seem like it. You, you couldn't call it winning. You can't win if you couldn't lose. So that's the deal now. Negative, positive. Would there be negative, uh, positive without negative? No, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like this is the current setup, you know, for the foreseeable future. It looks like it's been that way as long as we can remember and as long as the history tells us. So here's what you want to do if you want the adventure. You must learn to play this game, to work with all the positive forces to defeat the negative forces as early and as soon and as much as possible. To contain the ravages of disease that want to take you early. You've got to fight back. You can't just leave it. Somebody says, well, I got my fingers crossed. Not a good philosophy. You've got to take your vitamins. You've got to do the stuff. You've got to do the deal. Jump on the positive side of whatever you want. See if you can't help out in this warfare, in this push-shove match. That's the key. So in the summer, here's what you must do. Nourish the plants and the garden. Nourish your values like a mother. Give life. Whatever you start now, you must nourish it and give it life. Don't neglect a new life if you've started the new life. What if you said to a brand new mother, where is your baby? She says, I have no idea. You would say, no, that isn't right. If you start a new life, you must care for it. You must protect it. You must give it life, give it nourishment. Now, here's the other part. You must protect it like a father. That's why the old wise man said, we must learn to love and hate. And the illustration he used was, you must learn to love good and hate evil. To deal with the weeds in your garden, you've got to hate weeds. You've got to hate them enough to what? Kill them. You can't say, well, poor weeds. Say, no, this ain't the deal, poor weeds. So, learn the good evil. Now, here's the greatest battle in the mind. Here's what you must not become in the summer in your mind. A victim of yourself. What is that insidious voice inside your own head that says, you're too short, it'll never work for you, you're too tall, right? It's over for you, right? It's never worked for you before. What gives you any idea that it'll work for you now? You've never been able to rise up and take charge of your life. What makes you think you can do it now? There's going to be too many obstacles out there. You'll never overcome them all. What is that insidious voice? It's the same game going on inside your head that's going on in the world. Liberty and tyranny in a push-shove match. And here's what you've got to do. Cooperate with the positive side of your life and let faith drive out doubt, right? Let winning drive out losing. Let positive drive out negative. But you've got to get into the contest. And why get into the contest? Because that's how you create an adventure. There is no other way. It takes both. You've got to learn to laugh, yes, but that's not what the wise men only said. You can't just learn to laugh and keep on laughing. No, that's silly. It says there's also a time to cry. You've got to learn to both laugh and cry. Then it said you must be so sophisticated as not to laugh when it's time to cry. Then it further says you must learn to laugh with those that laugh and learn to cry with those that cry. That now gives you an understanding of what life is all about. Sadness and joy contest, the difference, and yet it creates the adventure. But here's the adventure, to overcome the evil, to put evil in its place. Just like in your mind, you've got to stand guard at the door of your mind, and see if you can't suppress, see if you can't do battle with the negative forces. Don't become a victim of yourself. Beware of the thief on the street that's after your purse. But also beware of the thief in your mind that's after your promise. See if you can't engage in this mental contest and win the day. That's the summer. Now here's one more season. And that's the season of harvest. Here's the key to remember harvest time. In due season, in due time. When it's time. Part of this is to develop the patience. So that when it's time, it will come. But you cannot be impatient. Patience is part of the game here. You can't plant the seed and two or three days later dig around and say, where's my crop, where's my crop? You say, no, come on, that's foolish. We'll take you away to some safe place. This... You've got to plant and wait and exercise patience. 
And then when it comes time, you give it nourishment and you give it care and you give it protection. And then you got to wait some more and you got to wait some more and you got to wait some more. Need a little pick me up today? Welcome to the new Fresh Motivation app, where you'll find daily motivation, daily quotes. Listen to your favorite speeches in the background or with a black screen. So nothing interrupts your motivational moment where you can create your personal profile, create playlists of your favorite speeches and quotes, add personal notes, and start setting goals. Fresh Motivation, the home of motivation. Get it now for free on Google Play.